You can now add an image as a locked background in Jamboard. To do that, click Set Background. Then click on the image thumbnail. As you can see, I can select a file by uploading it, using my camera, doing a Google image search, or I can grab an image from Google Drive or Google Photos. For now, I will upload an image. As you can see, this image has now been set as the background and I cannot move it anywhere. You can then use these Jamboard tools to add any text or shapes or sticky notes as you'd like. If you wish to change the background, click Set Background again, click on this final box. In this case, I'm going to do a Google image search. Click on Search for Images and type out what you wish to search for. Click on the image you want to insert as your background. Then click Set as Frame Background. As you can see, I cannot click and move this image as it has been set as the background. Here's how to add an image from your drive. Set Background, this image thumbnail. Now I'm going to click Google Drive and I can scroll through to find the image or I can click on Search in Drive and type out what I'm searching for. Click on the image and click Set as Frame Background. What is neat is that Jamboard resizes the image as necessary to fit the frame and it locks it so it cannot be moved. If I want this to be the background of multiple frames, I can come here to the top, expand the frame bar, click the three dots, and select Duplicate. This is a great feature because you can insert pretty much any image, such as a map or a number line or a diagram, so that students or collaborators can add drawings, text, sticky notes, shapes, or other images as necessary. If you need to remove this image from your background, click Set Background and click on the first box, which will take you back to the default, which is blank. 